Hi everyone, Konnichiwa. Thank you very much for watching Fura Channel. Today, I'd like to introduce you these Japanese traditional snacks. What I'm having is called Umaibo. It is called Umai Bar. Umai means delicious and Bo means bar. So it's kind of like a delicious bar. This is traditional Japanese uh, kind of like a cheap candy snacks. And this is like a, you know, extra edition. It's not like serious Japanese studying movie, but based on the viewer's request today, let me introduce you these snacks. I'm sure you'll love this. And I'm excited because I've been eating this for about, you know, more than 30 years. I mean, approximately 40 years because I've been eating this since I was a kid, since I was a child. You know that? There's so many variety of tastes. It's approximately about 30 tastes. Three zero tastes. That's too many, right? So today I just picked up some traditional, uh, how can I say, representative tastes for you. About five tastes. Number one, number one. This is my recommendations and this is my favorite one. This is green one. The taste is called Yasai Saradaji. The taste is called yasai saradaji, means a vegetable, you know, fried vegetable kind of vegetable mix, fried vegetable mix taste. And, you know, if I, so, you know, I'm reading the uh, kind of, you know, description here, and uh, it contains a lot of, a lot of you know, uh, actually, you know, uh, honestly, a uh, chemist, chemist, a lot of chemists inside. But at least this is fried by a vegetable oil, vegetable oil. So I guess that's why it is called yasai sarada ashi. Yasai means vegetable, right? Yasai means vegetable and sarada means salad, same. So vegetable salad taste, okay? So let me taste this one. Oh, I'm so, how can I say, I really like this. See, this is umaiba. This is umaiba. And yes, the taste of it, taste of it. Can you guess how much is this? I'm sure some of you might have had this before or some of you might have, you know, tasted this before. You can get at every convenience store around the corner. I mean, you know, you can get easily, you know, access to the most nearest convenience store from your hotel in Japan, and you can get this. And how much, you know how much it is? It's only 10 yen. Can you believe that? One, zero yen. It's quite cheap, and it's really good to go with beer. And also, you know, for those of you who don't drink, it's really good to go with, uh, you know, sparkling water or those kind of things. It's like a snacks. It's very cheap snack, traditional snacks. Okay, let me have this one. Yasai saradaji. Mmm, tastes very cheap. You know, <laughs> tastes very cheap, but it's addictive. You know what I mean? It's so addictive. Okay? Mmm. You know, this, oh, this is good. This taste. You know, this taste. As I told you, I've been eating this for more than 30 years. Can you believe this? Three zero years, three decades, and this reminds me a lot of a lot of things, you know that? Since I was since you know I was a kid, I, I was a child. And this is really good. And this is since this is snack, so you know, as you have many sticks, you can get messy around, so you need to get a, a kind of kitchen kitchen napkin or so. And this is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Once you eat, you can't stop. This is like a Japanese style Pringles, okay? So I, I will finish this later, okay? Let me introduce the next one. Oh, excuse me. I, okay. Okay, the next one is my second recommendation. My personal number two. Number two. I'd like you to, to try this. This is mentai taste. Mentai taste. I'm sure you love this too. You love this too. You know, this purple package is kind of a, uh, how can I say, it's kind of like an icon. You can't miss it. Purple, purple colored icon. It's called mentai aji. In hiragana home, it's saying mentai aji means taste, right? And this is so, can you say that? Seems like a poison, don't you think? <laughs> so in a way, it contains a lot of chemicals. I have to say that, you know, being honest with you. But uh, maybe because of so, it's very uh, addictive. Okay, mentai taste. I love this. 
Mm. Mm. Even the taste, you know, smells very nice. And uh, mm. it's a little bit spicy. You know, the yasai sarada the vegetable one tastes very mild, you know. But this one, mentai taste, uh, tastes a little bit strong. I mean, a little bit spicy. That's really good. I mean, in a nice way, you know, not too much, not too much. It's in a nice way. It's very taste, tasty. Totemo oishii desu. Totemo oishii desu. Japanese traditional stuff, snacks. Okay? In Japanese, we call it dagashi. It's called dagashi. Da means uh, kind of like a cheap. Yeah, that means cheap. And kashi means a snack. Snack or sweets or candy. That's kind of things. So, in the combination of da, and kashi, da cheap, and kashi is a snacks or candy or just kind of things. So traditional cheap snacks, Japanese dagashi, only 10 yen. I'm sure you love this. This is very hot. Okay, good to go with beer and good to go with sparkling water. This is really nice. Mm. Mm. I'm sure I'm look so happy, right? <laughs> because I am happy with this, having this. Thank you very much. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, three tastes. You know, these are my favorite things. This is very uh, kind of traditional standards, typical ones. So I'd like you to try this, try this, this. I'm, I'm sure you'll love this. But at the same time, there's some kind of uh, strange taste as well. So let me introduce this one next. What's this one? It's a kind of white package with uh, blue and red stripes on it. It's called sugar. Lask taste, sugar kind of sweet taste. You know, these mentai and yasai salad, it's kind of like a spicy snacks, okay? Spicy, not too spicy, but it's okay. And this one, it's sweet, sweet one. Okay, let me try this one. Looks very white, looks very white. And, mm. it's very sweet. And uh, I, I, I don't know, some kind of uh, sweet powder, a bit of sweet powder on it, and tastes like a sugar fried bread, you know, sugar lask. Sugar lask, it's, you know, put some sugars on the bread and fried it, you know, sugar lask taste. This is good. Amai des, sweets. Amai, mmm, amai, you know, sweets. Mmm, this is. Yeah, really interesting, interesting, tasty, and I'm not really, how can I say, when I was a kid, umaibo, you know, the delicious spare has its own the, uh, uh, the taste range of spicy things, okay, only have spicy things, kind of things, so, you know, these kind of, you know, sweet ones are relatively new, you know what I mean, relatively new, and taste fine, taste fine, I think it's good to go with milk rather than beer or sparkling water, I think the sweet ones could, uh, goes with milk. You should go with milk or tea, milk tea, or just kind of straight tea, lemon tea, that kind of things, okay? And the next one is, this is red pack, takoyaki taste. Have you heard of takoyaki? Takoyaki. It's uh, uh, originated in, originated from, I think, Osaka. Osaka, you know, the Osaka, uh, prefecture and takoyaki is, I'm sure some of you might have had this before and had tasted this before. Uh, takoyaki is a uh, kind of like a small Japanese pancakes which has a piece of octopus. Tako means octopus in Japanese. Tako means octopus in Japanese. So there is, you know, it's small kind of Japanese pancakes, but you can find a small piece of octopus in the center of it in the center of it. And it's good to go with is a sauce with, uh, yeah, that's the way you have it, takoyaki, and six bowls, eight bowls, it costs about, you know, 400 yen or 500 yen. You can easily get this kind of, you know, takoyaki things around the corner. Sometimes at the supermarket, or sometimes, of course, you can find that takoyaki things at the convenience store as well. So this is the taste of takoyaki. Of course, it doesn't contain any octopus in it, piece of octopus, but it tastes like a uh, takoyaki. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is covered by a sauce, I think. And, you know, looks very obvious. And, mmm. Mmm. 
can't believe this. This is really tastes like takoyaki. Tastes like takoyaki. It's a good one. It's a good one. Mm. Of course, it's of course you know better having real takoyaki. But if you're missing takoyaki too badly, but you know it's midnight, you know you can find any open takoyaki shops. Maybe you can rush into the convenience store and get this takoyaki taste umaiba, delicious bar. Yeah, it's an alternative way of going go, going for it. Mm. Fine. Mm. And last one. This is the last one. And can you believe this? I myself was really surprised when I found this at the convenience store. This is natto taste, natto flavor, delicious bar. Have you heard of natto? It's a Japanese kind of like a traditional food. Natto. It's a it's a, it's a beans, a really sticky beans, and good to go with rice, and good to be for myself. Good to go with bread, and good to go with everything. You know, it's a Japanese soul food. Japanese soul food, you know, it's like a kimchi for Korean people. It's like a, you know, marble kind of things for Chinese people. I mean, you know, for Japanese people, this is ethnic kind of traditional food. Natto and taste of natto umaiba, delicious bar. Let me try this one. And I love natto myself. I really, really, really like nattos. So, wow, can't wait. Oh, just, oh my God, smells natto. It smells exactly like natto, and let me taste this one. Mm. <laughs> natto, natto, really natto. It's not sticky. It's a little bit sticky, maybe, but it's okay. Wow, it's really good and a little bit spicy, nice in a nice ways. Uh, taste cheap but tastes exactly like natto. Of course, you can get natto at convenience store, at supermarket, or department store everywhere. Everywhere. It's basically, you know, contains three packs of nattos for 100 yen or 150 yen. Or at most about 200 yen. It's cheap anyway. It's family, family kind of ethnic foods. And this one's, see, umaibo, again, costs you only 10 yen per each. Only 10 yen per each. So I'm sure you can enjoy a variety of foods. Okay, as a as a kind of extra entertainment for your Tokyo trip or Japan trip, right? Mmm, mmm, can't believe this. This is really nice. Oh, okay, this is it. Thank you very much for watching our channel, and I'm sure please try these Japanese cheap snacks, cheap candies at the convenience store. It's I'm sure you will love this, and I'm sure you this kind of experience can add extra colorful things, colorful experience to your to your uh, journey. So that's it for today. So again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you can do that. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Arigatou gozaimashita.